Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. One-click protection for all your devices. Securing yourself could not be easier at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Welcome to the Woo Woo Show. It's a kind of a comments and community review show and fan art and what else is it, Ryan? You pretty much hit it. Hit it. I hit it. That's I hit it. it. Let's see what the people are talking about. Let's see what the people are talking about. So here's some comments from some videos that came out recently or like within the last couple of months. One of the comments is it's from Parzival06. This is this is how I feel about this video. I hope in some way this can be turned into a series. So this was a video that it was just me, Alana and Elise and we played this game about dogs and adopting a dog and like finding like people to date with dogs or something. I don't really remember. Okay. Anyways, they loved it. And they use the Tom Havard for a meme. I, it's beautiful. I've looked at this for five hours. When I first saw this meme, I thought they were talking about the thumbnail. So I thought that they were literally looking, they could not stop looking at that oh. irresistible thumbnail of your three faces on the uh, with all those dogs. But then I realized that they were referencing the video. And if you watched it for five hours, then you better be able to quote it back to me. That's what I say. Yeah, here we go. Here's some comments from YouTube. Elise drinks a tall glass of milk on the reg. Elise is strong. Elise shall survive the winter. What is this a reference to? So Elise just talked about drinking milk. Hey, is this a thing? I get made fun of this all the time. I'm a milk drinker. And everyone, all the adults say, drink milk all the time. It's good for you. In my 30s, I'm still drinking milk. And everyone's like... Dude, what are you drinking that for? Are you a baby? When did it change? When did milk go from making you strong to you being a baby if you drink it? Okay, because you're drinking your mother's milk and that's meant for you. Like, as an adult, you don't need to drink cow milk. Your parents are lying to you about like 90% of the things they told you as a kid. Well, I have PTSD from Santa Claus for damn sure. You don't need to drink milk. Life hack: don't brush your teeth while listening to Alana, Elise, and Lindsay react to Kokopo's big farts. You will ingest toothpaste laughing. That makes that just makes me sick thinking about that. I hate thinking about <laughs> swallowing toothpaste. That makes me want to gag. Please puke on the on the pod. It would really it boosts up the ratings. We need those clicks. Come on. Puke on the woo woo. Just guzzling toothpaste. Ew, just imagine stop. me like ah. doing a beer bong of toothpaste of used toothpaste. Stop, Think about it. Think right? About it right no, now. seriously, we gotta move on. More comments um, about milk. Get him out of my face. I don't want to see him anymore. Scroll past the milk. Fuck you say about milk. Uh, okay, so here we go. We got some comments from when the first time you played GTA with us. <laughs> in quarantine as you made it clear 10 ton nuke says i once handed the controller to my dad while playing super mario world he was knocked from his yoshi mount yelled my horse <laughs> and proceeded to jump off a cliff watching ryan plays that kind of like that no one ever explained anything every time i start playing one of these games with you guys you just immediately say oh ryan go for it you'll get it and i don't get it i never get it it takes me the whole game to get it, and then it's over. So that's y'all's fault. Thanks a lot for making my first time suck. 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 Hey, I I carried. I took you to the pit, though. You were the only one Thank who you. took me to the pit. Thank you, Lindsay. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I always got you. Uh, Ryan is the baby bird that falls from the nest, so the mom just tries to convince him he's a special kind of squirrel. Just pile on, why don't you? This one was funny from <laughs> Colin Film. James sounded like a dad talking to a kid when he said Ryan... Don't worry, we'll do one where your tires grow back. It's more fun when the tires grow back. It's just some more comments from that video. They were all a fan of, you know, your asking question, and they all identified it with it. Oh. I do good, <laughs> asking that question at the end. Please tell me I do good. Tell me I good at this game. From Peanut Butter Robot. Oh, this is a blast. Butter is healthy. It lubricates my gears. Metset Detail says, This video only pro proves people don't deserve robot slaves. He wasn't our slave. He was our friend. Yeah, we paid him. Yeah, we paid that guy. <laughs> that robot. <laughs> that robot. Apple cider vinegar. Grab the apple cider vinegar with your right hand. Confirm. Don't look at me. <laughs> now chug, chug. What about a quick swig? Remember how you get Siri and the first hundred things you asked Siri were all stupid things like, hey Siri, why are you so stupid? I remember 2012. That was kind of like that with a with a human robot. So you gotta fuck with it a little bit just to see what it's capable of and yeah. what its limits are. That's a great point, Ryan. Rip the bag apart. What? Oh, he's doing it. This is what robots okay, do. Okay, stop ripping. Place the bread in your right hand back. <laughs> oh! Squeeze the bottle. 
Yes. Stop squeezing. Yes. Isaiah says, I'm canceling my PS5 order and getting one of these robots ASAP. I mean, it's a good switch. That's what I would say. How much would we sell one of those uh, John robots for? I think it would need to be like a couple dollars more than like the newest gen console. So like those are like what? Four ninety nine. So it needs to be like okay. five twenty five or something. That's pretty good for what I thought. I mean, just comparing it to like a sex robot, you know. Uh, How much is a sex robot, Ryan? Uh, let's move on to the next comment here. Uh, Should we also see what's in the drawer below the counter? What's in there? Astro Glide Magnum. <laughs> just another sad boy, SBTT asked, has Ryan ever been an extra on the Eric Andre show? This is great because I got so many messages asking me if I was the naked person that attacked somebody on the Eric Andre show. They were this. sending me uh, still shots of this naked dude saying, is this you? This looks like you naked. Why do they know what you look like naked? <laughs> that was my question. I was like, <laughs> you know, they saw a naked man. They go, that looks exactly like Ryan naked. Uh, no, but that's a guy named Pat Reagan. That's a comedian here in LA named Pat Reagan. Funny guy. Anyways, Gary King says, Ryan is like a caveman going mad after discovering fire. That's what I've been saying the whole time. I ain't my fire. I want to go to my cave. What the what going on around here in this comment? Man? You guys know what's going on, dude. You know what's up. I love you. Man. This episode is brought to you by Honey. Honey is basically like your online shopping best friend. And online shopping is kind of the only shopping we get to do these days. It's a free browser extension that's hours the internet for promo codes and automatically test them when you're checking out. I don't know if you've ever had the scenario, but say you're at a mall and you're gonna go buy some pants and then right before you do, your friend shows up and they go, I have a coupon for that place. That's what Honey is. And here's how it works. You get Honey for free on your computer, just takes two clicks. And when you're checking out at one of over Honey's 30,000 supported sites, pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds, Honey searches for the coupons for that site and then boom, you just save some money. The holidays were only a few short weeks ago. I was trying to find some presents and, you know, I'll pay top dollar for my friends to an extent, but it was great to find good deals and coupon codes quick and easy for things to save me some money as I bought some gifts for my friends. Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in saving. I've done this ad read a bunch and that number just keeps going up. It's pretty amazing. Honey supports all kinds of retailers from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands and even food delivery. So a lot of people are ordering all kinds of things at home these days. It isn't just for pants online. So you might as well save money when you do it. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. And it's free. It works with whatever browser you use. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash open house. That's joinhoney.com slash open house. So they know we sent you. Thanks, Honey, for the support on today's episode. Anyways, we did have a pretty good time playing Seven Days to Die Adult Minecraft. You like that one, right? You did good in that one. I love the shit out of that. That game was actually one of the most fun games I've played here. Everyone, you can take one weapon. Actually, yeah, rocket launcher. There you go, buddy. John gave me a rocket launcher, and so he is single-handedly responsible for blowing up the entire base and getting us killed by zombies. So, See, fuck and you, John, what's your problem? No Name t says it perfectly. John and Ryan really have this master and apprentice thing going on, and I love it. You think it's so funny to just destroy the game when we're all built, working hard to build this big shelter, and you just think it's like hilarious or something to give me a rocket launcher so I would immediately destroy the base and screw everything up the whole game? What's wrong with you? Two-Face 619, Ryan is like that kid in Harry Potter that blows himself up every time he uses his wand. I laughed at that despite having not read Harry Potter. Nextra says, Ryan feels like a cool Gen X uncle trying to connect with his Gen, C Gen Z nephew, so he's trying his hardest playing games, but he can't even because last time he played games, they came with overlays to put on the TV. So wholesome. Either that or he's baked AF. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, that's funny. Yeah, so I guess I am kind of the old uncle of that particular group. Are you older than John? No, John is younger than me. That's what. That's the same thing then, yes. I said, are you older than John? And you said, no, John is younger than me. Then yes, you're the oldest, but not by that much. But I definitely felt like the young kid when I first came to, high, to Funhouse. Because I was just like, it looked, you know, they're all doing the stuff that they've been doing for so long. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't know what's, I'm going, what's going on here. But then I realized that I'm only like a year or two younger than all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's some comments from the Secret Santa Gift Exchange, which was super fun video to film. From Manly Pelican says, the fact that Lindsay can't hide her disappointment is so funny to me. 
So. Oh yeah, you got fucked in this exchange by here's Jacob. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, poor Jacob. I think I was a little shocked because I was also trying to process how two DVDs for, of the dinosaurs equals a hundred dollars, but it doesn't. They, they certainly wasn't fifty apiece. I looked it up and it was like fifty bucks total. Total. Yeah. So, but here's the thing. It's like I went on there and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pick out like I'm gonna see as many gifts as I can and like they're all gonna be kind of cool but kind of weird and like like my total was literally like ninety 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 nine dollars and like fifty seven cents. I used uh -huh. every penny that I could, and then so uh -huh. I was trying to figure out how these DVDs was hundred dollars. So I was just sitting there like, is this a gift card stuck in here? No, okay. <laughs> You're sure they weren't limited edition? Like rare bootlegs or something new. No, but anyways, I appreciate the thought and the sentiment meant a lot more to me than I realized too because John was right. I had the ARC server. Jacob played a lot with me. We played a lot of game uh, of this game about dinosaurs. So it made sense that he thought of me and he thought of dinosaurs. But I'm still returning it. <laughs> Kit Kat said Lindsay essentially got coal. <laughs> <laughs> Like, people in the comments were way meaner about it than I was in the video. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, people were sticking up for you. How can you be mad at Jacob? You can't. But you got a fucking violin. Uh, yeah, I did. Pretty cool, huh? Way better than some DVDs. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> asshole. I'm gonna be using that violin for the rest of my life. Didn't you just say you gave away all your DVDs, like, a week before that episode? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't even know where those DVDs are anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> you got coal. Um, here's another comment from it. Squirrel D Star says, James out here looking like Big Show and Jingle All the Way, which is, <laughs> there's a picture here too. That's an awesome reference. Yes, that is exactly what he looks like. There and I go. love the shit out of that movie. Best Christmas movie bar none ever. Jingle All the Way. Well, Elf is pretty good. No, but, but Jingle All The Way is better. The last comment from that video says, you can tell these guys truly are family because holy shit are some of those gifts expensive, which, you know, I can't speak on behalf of my gift that I received, but a violin, that's an expensive gift. Yeah, the violin, I was surprised. I, I could, I was, when I first got it, I was like, maybe it's just a violin case for me to put cool stuff in because there's no way there's gonna be a real violin in here. That's too expensive. Have you ever played a stringed instrument? Yeah, I play guitar. Oh, there you go. That's the same. But no, violins are not the same, dude. They are hard and different and difficult and you have to basically start from the time you're seven months old in China to be good at it. And I'm not there yet. Um, anyways, that's the end of this video. Thanks for hanging out with us. Leave us all sorts of comments if you want us to read your comment and make fun of you or just make fun of Elise and Ryan for drinking milk. Milk. Don't woo do that to me. I drink milk and you woo should too. Uh, also make sure to send us some fan art for 2021. A lot of these yes. shows coming up. We want to see your beautiful art and shout you out and, and tell you that we love it or that or tell you that we love it and we secretly hate it I, I would never secretly hate your fan art that you put time and energy into Lindsay what the fuck that's not what he said earlier <laughs> what? that's not true <laughs> let's do the patented woo woo send off dance remember woo 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 w you come on what do you we have these traditions we do woo w you w you Woo! Woo! Lindsay! Woo! Hello? Right, I'm getting a workout then. <laughs> <laughs>